invites us to celebrate the birth of the Christ child, God's gift of love to the world. It proclaims the Emmanuel, God with us, friend, companion, and saviour. A friend who brings the fullness of God's grace into the realities of flesh and blood. A companion who shares the human journey from birth to death. And a saviour who brings healing to the sick, strength to the weak, and to the anxious and distressed, gives the blessing of peace. O God, who became human for our sake in thy Son, Jesus Christ, open our ears to hear the message of the angels. Open our hearts to receive thy grace. Open our hands that we might do justice and embrace kindness. And guide our feet that we may walk humbly with our God all the days of our life. Amen. Amen. The prophet Isaiah looks forward to the peace that Christ shall bring. And there shall come forth the rod out of the stem of Jesse, and the branch shall grow out of his roots. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears, but with righteousness shall he judge the poor, and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth. With the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. And righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins, and faithfulness the girdle of his reins. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and the little child shall lead them. And the cow and the bear shall feed, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. And the sucking child shall play on the hole of the ass, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the cockatrice's den. They shall not hurt, nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. Thanks be to God. The poet J.C. Shaw imagines the moment just before Mary is addressed by an angel. Beyond the brimming ages, Gabriel waits, his foremost message burning on his breath. Through time, men slide, creeping through the gates of birth and out again the doors of death. He sees kings rise, and kingdoms fall to dust. He sees unnumbered souls unfleshed. To some he gives slight hints, but the full knowledge must wait, for his best words are not for them. Then at last, coming from afar, he sees gleaming like a golden pin in time's folds, Mary rising like a star above the fretted seas of what had been, bright hinge on which the gate of heaven creaks. To her he turns, inclines himself, and speaks. St. Luke tells of the birth of Jesus. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, 
which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the end. Thanks be to God. A poem by Toni Morrison interprets the wonder of the birth of Christ. It comes unadorned, like a phrase strong enough to cast a spell. It comes unbidden, like the turn of sun through hills, or stars in wheels of song. The jeweled feet of women dance the earth arousing it to spring. Shoulders broad as a road bend to share the weight of years. Profiles breach the distance and lean toward an ordinary kiss. Bliss. It comes naked into the world like a charm. The shepherds visit the Holy Family. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly, there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary, and Joseph, and the babe, lying in a manger. Thanks be to God. The wise men are led by a star to Jesus. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, Behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born King of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and have come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star, which they saw in the east, went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. 
and being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Thanks be to God. St. John unfolds the great mystery of the Incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God. When the song of the angels is stilled, when the star in the sky is gone, when the kings and princes are home, when the shepherds are back with their flock, the work of Christmas begins. To find the lost, to heal the broken, to feed the hungry, to release the prisoner, to rebuild the nations, to bring peace among people, to make music, in the heart. May the humility of the shepherds, the perseverance of the Magi, the joy of the angels and the peace of the Christ child be yours now and always. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.